What's up guys? It's Apollo here. Hope you guys are doing well and are you ready for another glorious battle? This of course is the continuation of Siege Week. This is Thrones of Britannia and this is uh, actually a pretty straightforward siege battle. We have two two of the same factions versus two of the same faction. We have the Welsh here, Gwend versus uh, Wessex. Uh, Wessex is on the attack and the Welsh are preparing to make their stand. Uh, and the settlement is pretty straightforward as well. Uh, there's no like crazy defenses. Uh, we've got a lot of villages, a lot of houses and you know, not, well, not villages, you know what I mean. There's a lot of little houses here that need to be protected because obviously if they burn them down, it's going to cause a, her a huge morale loss. Also, the capture point is way back here, so I can imagine that we'll see some inner street fighting as the, uh, as the English begin to push into their settlement. Uh, but I also expect to see the Welsh uh, to put up a grand stand. So before the fighting begins, let's look at the army comps really fast. So here's the first Welsh army. Again, they're specialized in spears and archers, the deadly longbows. And then actually let's do some slow motion here. And here is the other Welsh army. Again, very similar spears and long longbows being their fo uh, you know, their focus. Very defensive faction. They're like the Spartans in Rome too. Uh, <laughs> so they they really rely on a defensive situation. Now, uh, Wessex on the other hand, they're actually pretty aggressive. They're a well-balanced faction. They've got good swords, uh, good axes. This faction here is bringing a lot of swords, and that's smart. Swords can do pretty well against spears, uh, but again, the spears are going to be tough to fight through. The biggest problem, I think, for Wessex are going to be the archers. And then here's the other army. Uh, again, very similar in army comp. Uh, we got Royal Thanes here, um, Fjord Axemen in the back, so some cheaper troops, Royal Bodyguard for his general, and then he's pushing up a bunch of units as well. So those are the army comps. Let's go back to normal speed. In Witness, the the uh, arrow Siege Towers, I was going to call them Arrow Towers, I do that all the time, uh, and they're going to drop off the troops, and the battle will begin. So the key here for taking the outer section of the wall, the, you know, the first wall here, is overwhelming your opponent. Now he's got his Valley Spearmen. These guys are pretty good uh, in shield wall formation. And they're going to hold. Look at, look at this formation they're holding here. And notice how he's kind of cutting off the flanks, preventing Wessex from being able to... Uh, flank around. He's actually flanking his spears. He's being aggressive with the spears on the flank. Same thing over here. Wessex about to engage a bunch of spears, but they're not in shield wall formation. There you have it, guys. Tons of English pouring in, trying to defeat the Welsh. There goes more troops. Here they go. Hell yeah. <laughs> very fun to watch that. Very, very fun. And more and more of these siege showers are going to come. And look how epic this is. Look at all the siege showers. And that's what you need to do, guys. You need to overwhelm your defenders. If you're attacking, make sure you use every single siege tower. And make sure you get as many troops on this wall as possible. Because as the attackers, you have the advantage, right? You have the advantage in numbers and in skill in quality because you have more money uh, than the defenders so you need to make sure you use that I mean you need to make sure you overwhelm his troops and try to get as many up on this outer wall uh, as possible now the Welsh are doing a good job of containing uh, these walls and look at they're constantly just plugging in holes now he's got some Welsh axemen and it's just a madhouse right now Look at there he goes. Let's see th these axemen. They should be able to get some work done here. They're pretty. They're decent. They're tier two, but they will be taking on tier two uh, Earl Thanes. Over here, I mean, this was more of a diversion, if anything, guys. I mean, what we've got two siege towers over here. Uh, I think this was just to try to spread out the troops of the Welsh army. Now we have archers opening fire into this blob as well, which is exactly what they need to do. The 
So yeah, they, they obviously, this was more of a diversion. They're obviously more focused on taking this area. And just look at the carnage here. Look at this. My God, the fighting. This is so cool. To victory. To victory. Incoming charge. Keep your heads down, Max. So yeah, very, very interesting fight here so far. I mean, a pretty straightforward fight. An epic stand, an epic defense from the Welsh. And uh, Wessex trying to use all of their numbers to overwhelm this outer defense. The Spears have been holding on for quite some time. I'm actually surprised how long this battle replay is considering how many troops are fighting right now for the outer walls. Usually when um, when players are super aggressive like this, like the defenders like try to defend the outer walls, outer walls with everything they have, the battles tend to be shorter because they're committing like almost everyone at once and so is the attackers. So I'm actually quite surprised to see how long this replay is and to see so many troops fighting it out. Now there are a lot of reserves, but I can imagine he's going to retreat. There's actually tons of troops here. Look at this. Oh my god, and the spear guard over here. These guys are nasty. They are nasty. Look at these boys. They are really good at holding the line. Look at this banner carry. It's so derpy. <laughs> oh man uh, and he's slowly moving them up in a badass faction uh, but let's also not forget that Wessex still has reserves as well and these are royal thanes these are the elites of the elites as well uh, so they are ready to support uh, their troops now this is almost looking a little troubling for um, the Welsh uh, I, well, it's, it's still quite even, and we're actually seeing breaking from the Earl's Thanes over here. But I think, I have a feeling that Wessex is going to break through here before anywhere else. Eventually, uh, these spears are going to thin out. This, this unit in particular looks uh, very thinned out. They are down to 93 men, and we even have Wessex troops who are getting through the line but are breaking. Look. <laughs> That's why they're running. Wipe them out! Wipe them out! Charge! Oof! Those arrows doing God's work. Uh, doing a great job of of really weakening their troops and um, they've pretty much destroyed the initial assault here for this wall they've sent up reinforcements so we got some royal things things in position here uh, but they're gonna wait and that's not a terrible idea because by waiting here uh, they are causing the Welsh forces to stay here uh, and that means they can't send troops over to reinforce uh, other parts of the battle because of the presence of the Wessex swordsmen. We also have some cav running over this way as well. We got two units of Earl's horsemen. Uh, not sure what they're doing, but maybe they're looking for an opportunity. We have a bit of a gate battle. They've lost many to oil. Gate battles are extremely tough, but it is causing the Welsh to spread their numbers thin. And this has just been a brutal, brutal fight. And more fresh troops from Wessex joining into the fight, I think. Yeah, those are, yep, that's Wessex. Um, and they're actually made a gap here in the lines. I'm really surprised uh, the Welsh over here, this Welsh player is not peeling troops away from his main army to reinforce these lines here. Because this is actually, this is what I'm talking about. It's starting to look bad. And I knew over here, just based on the sheer numbers coming from Wessex, that they were going to be able to cut through this defense eventually. And they're going to have to commit more forces to this fight. And they should. They should, because they've got this well under control. Uh, under control. 
I think they can easily, easily uh, hold this position, especially with all these fresh troops. But we'll see. And again, Wessex sitting back here. If I was the Welsh, I would just get my archers up here, fire at this unit here, you know? Try, try to harass these troops who are sitting here and trying to get them to be impatient and to rush up his troops up the walls. But we'll see what happens next. Wessex. Yes, Wessex is pushing very hard over here. Uh, they've lost over here, but again, they're doing the same thing like on the other side. They've got their units waiting uh, to be a presence. So it's going to make it hard for the Welsh to be able to take extra, you know, take these reinforcements and move them elsewhere because they still have to worry about this flank. Who fled? What? Thrones is buggy. <laughs> Thrones is buggy. I, what? Nobody's fled. No player has fled yet. Oh no. Why, Wessex? Why? Just don't do it. Don't go through the gate. More, more times than not, it's always best to just avoid the gate. It will do so much damage to your forces. It's just best not to do it. Just that oil in the positioning is just really bad. I mean, I get it if you're trying to cause the defenders to, you know spread their troops out thin but in this case I mean it's just not worth it if you were attacking elsewhere it might be a little bit better but this is actually pretty good Wessex uh, close to defeating some of these spears kind of have them surrounded now we have the Wessex uh, Wessex bows Let's see where are they yeah they are Fjord archers Yeah. They're just going after a big pile of Welsh. Big blob of Welsh. Oh, God. That was gruesome. Dude lost his head. Now, there are some ba uh, some breaking going on from Wessex. It's a pretty close battle near this gatehouse. And Wessex has not pushed forward on this flank yet. And again, causing the Welsh to um, stay here and wait for them. Finally, finally he's sending over reinforcements with the spear guard. So heavily armored. These guys are needed. Needed greatly over here. Uh, this is this is a brutal battle, guys. I mean, from start to finish. Well, we're not close to the finish, but you know what I'm saying. From the start from now, it's just a, been a brutal struggle for just the outer walls. And this is why I always love when players try to defend the outer walls. It's always much more just epic. Because you have so many troops fighting for one spot. And the Welsh will definitely not give up this gate. See, I have a feeling that the Welsh eventually are going to have to fall back. Unless they can contain these troops. Oh no, they're already falling back. Ah, that's a pity. That's a pity. I, why? I, I think they can hold and win. If the spear guard went just right over here, they would easily defeat the English. They've got this. They have the numbers. You know what I would have done? I think if I was Wessex, I would have sent over one or two towers, siege towers, to just attack right here. I don't know if that would help a ton, but it would definitely cause the defenders to uh, spread out quite a lot. So, after about 20 minutes of fighting, game time, real life time, this would be hours. But after about 20 minutes of fighting... 
the Wessex and the Welsh both have plenty of reserves. The Welsh are doing especially well here, but Wessex is doing well here. And I don't know if they have any more troops hidden over here. They've got... They've actually been saving their archers for late game, which is uh, not a bad idea. And I think the same thing over here. We've got archers... Select Fjord archers. Under enemy fire. So... I think... Since one army is retreating, we're going to see this army retreat as well. But they can't wait for too long. Because if the flanks crumble here, it's going to be over. Yeah, you know what I would do? Is I would charge here now. And the reason I would charge this point right here, right now, is so you prevent these troops from retreating. Uh, if you can get these troops stuck in combat, and then Wessex is clearly going to win over here. So once he does, he can flank around this way and surround the troops who are holding this area. Now would be the op... Yep, it's too late. <laughs> it's too late. Why? Oh, that would have been huge. That would have been huge. Uh, yeah, he should have charged up the siege towers. Now, I, I don't know if it would have mattered too much, though, because I think he would have just retreated anyways as soon as he saw the troops climbing up here. But they could have. They could have easily have cut off these troops if they had, if they made them stuck in combat here. And then, if, like I said, they would have been able to flank around and get behind them. Uh, but now they've got one, two, three, four. No, three units of spears, a couple archers. They're, they're going to have to deal with in a much more difficult situation. And yeah, they are fully retreating uh, to the town center. Which the town center is going to be fairly easy to defend because... There's only about three choke points they're going to have to hold. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely going to be uh, pretty tough to attack for Wessex. But we'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens. He's still not going up the siege towers. He should honestly just go up here and flank around and kill the troops at the gate. Not sure why he's just sitting there. Still trying to take this. There we go. Oh, no. <laughs> It collapses as soon as it changes uh, changes hands here. There we go. The English are now moving over across this road. And they're going to be able to surround these troops. Again, not sure why these troops are still just sitting here. You might as well bring them up. I mean, imagine if this troop was flanking. I don't get it. Was this guy AFK? Like, send the troops up here. You can flank around. Kill these guys. I know this army is doing it. Uh, but yeah, this is a... This is it's definitely an interesting battle because usually when you see so many troops and look at the look at the death here. So many troops, so many troops have died in this one spot. Usually when you see that, the battles tend to be a bit quicker. But this was brutal. Just a brutal brutal fight. Oof. Lots of troops laying down their lives. Now the balance of power is in the favor of the attackers, only just. They outnumber them a little less than a thousand uh, compared to the defenders. There goes the Valley Spearmen charging down. And that's going to be the last of these spears who lay down their lives for the greatness of the Welsh. <laughs> this Welsh settlement. Why is he still charging? I guess they're just archers, but... I would have just waited to capture this gate before charging in more troops. So I don't know what this player is doing. He's still sitting here. There's really no threat at this point. There's a couple Welsh spearmen. And there they go. Now they're going to charge in. Here comes the charge. These English are tired. Very tired. And that's going to be the last of these spears. And I really think there's not going to be much fighting for a while here. Uh, so what I'm going to do, guys, is just fast forward and start it back up once the troops, uh, once the armies begin to clash again near the town center. But this is going to be the last stand. This is it, guys. It's all going to come down to this one spot right here. 
All right, guys, had to make a huge cut there, massive cut. Uh, you can now see there's only 15 minutes left in the replay because uh, Wessex was taking their time, of course, burning down the town, and now they're finally clashing swords once again for the inner city. And you can see that the city has been burnt to a crisp. Uh, they have destroyed 44%, which is causing a minus eight in melee skill. Another reason why they should have not retreated like this. They should have not retreated because, uh, well, they got to protect their town. And I think they, I, I honestly believe the Welsh, it would have been tough. But I think they could have won this battle if they just committed all of their forces to that outer wall. I think they could have won. But it's still not over yet. The Welsh still have uh, very great defensive positions. And we got some cav running around the Earl's horsemen. Going in for a charge into spears. Look at that. Oh, no. He caught right at the last second. He calls it off. Going through the town. Look at the burning town. The burning town. But uh, Wessex over on this side is eager to get some kills here and he's eager to push. Now this is going to be really tough because trying to get past these spears, it's just going to be brutal. Brutal, brutal stand by the Welsh. And this is what they excel out, excel at, right? They're really good at holding at choke point situations since they are the master of the spears. There's the officer there. So, so they're going to have to rely. I think Wessex needs to really push up more of their archers. More of their archers. I don't know if they have any artillery. I know that the Welsh have some artillery, but they're not using it um, right away, obviously. I think they're going to wait for the enemy to blob up quite a bit. Here we go, more troops coming into the fight. These are spears now. So Wessex really committing everything he has over here. They might want to push up more of their reinforcements. I think he is a little bit afraid of the Welsh artillery. But they need to push harder on this flank. They need to honestly be attacking on all flanks. More archer fire coming down on these spearmen. Not sure why they're getting up on the walls here. There they go. I think he's trying to... Oh, I think he's going to try to do a little sneaky pass through here. Look at this. Using the walls. Oh my god, this is great. He's going to use the walls here. They are getting focused down with arrows, but keep their shields high and their heads down. This is great. Now, there are some reserves over here. He's going to have to push up. Look at this. Really great tactic there, and uh, that's going to cause some, some issues for the Welsh army being surrounded. The archers are now charging in. Look at this. A downward charge. Now, are they going to kill a lot of Welsh here? Probably not, but they could easily send another unit through there again, which I highly recommend they do. These spears are probably going to die pretty quickly because they're so spread out, and they're taking on multiple units. But if he sends another unit down this way, he could easily flank around this uh, group of troops here and cause them to break. Here we go. More Wessex forces coming around. Finally, they're attacking on all flanks now. Now they're destroying this barricade. And they've destroyed 49%, so minus 9 a melee skill. Wow. These spears actually caused these archers to break. Sure, they're just archers, but that's kind of big. That's kind of big. So that's why I, ho I always hate giving up. Uh, giving up 
a lot of the town because they can burn your buildings down and do so much damage to your your skill level your melee skill man Cause your treachery. Look at the flames are so close to this fight. They are losing here, Wessex, but it seems like they're making great ground over here. There's a lot of troops waiting for them, even if they do break through. And there they go, they're causing a lot of routing. This is looking kind of bad for the Welsh. 50%. 50% of this village, this city, has been destroyed. Minus 9 in melee skill. That's huge. That is huge. And honestly, I would keep burning stuff down. I would keep burning like this over here and here. Keep burning it down because it's doing you way more good than bad. You know, to dedicate a soldier uh, to just keep on burning stuff. Uh, there we go. They finally uh, broke the routing spearmen. I don't know why he didn't send another unit the same way. I mean, that would have been huge. Yeah, even just this Fjord Axeman, if he was able to just send them around the flank, he would have done some in intense damage. Would have caused these guys to break probably by now. The enemy general is dead. Oh, the enemy general's dead. <gasps> oh no. The Welsh have lost their general. They died to the arrows of the enemy. And that's another big loss to this Welsh army. Oh, what are those arrows coming from? It looks like a lot of friendly fire from Wessex. Most of them are hitting the enemy, though. Wow. I mean, this has got to be really tough for the Welsh. I mean, they still have tons of reserves here. The Welsh are charging in. More troops over in this center battle. Trying to get them to break. The Wessex is charging in their archers as well. Just massing as many bodies over here as possible. Oh my god. The spear guard are now breaking. The spear guard are now breaking. And if they break, this could be the end of the Welsh. Now we got more spear guard coming in. <laughs> so tired. Can't go on. That's so funny. The city is ablaze. Wessex still has plenty of reserves. So, I think they can still, well, it's going to be really tough, but I think they could win this. They still have a chance. Now, the artillery I, it died or just they ran out of ammo. I didn't really see that artillery doing much. But, yeah, this, I don't know. Like, oh, God, now we have Haskarls going in. Oh, God. Yeah, this is like... This is the final blow from the from Wessex, you know. This is the killing blow right here. Seeing those Haskarls engage the enemy, holding them back. He must have held these guys back for so long. And they're so good. Axes are so good at killing spears. And I think this is going to be this is going to be an uphill battle for the Welsh. They're doing well here. I like how they have this unit in reserve, keeping them fresh. Absorbing ammo. But Wessex just still has so many troops. So many troops. Still holding here, but combat's even. If the Welsh are going to win this one, they need to win one of these flanks. 
decisively. And this is probably the biggest concern over here. But it's still not over. 52% of the village has been burnt to a crisp. If Wessex can break through one of these choke points, it's it's over. So, I mean, that's really what it comes down to. Is the Welsh need to just hold. Is the longer they hold, the better their chances of winning this. Uh, because the more they're killing and whatnot. But as soon as they... Oh, they've committed, like, everything. They've committed everything. Uh, and there's still three units. Royal Thanes and a general. Waiting in reserve. This is really close, guys. Some troops are wavering. Oh, big break here in the center. Big break in the center. This is not over yet. The Welsh still hold strong here. But they've got more where that came from. A lot more. It looks like they're going to win over here. Combat is even still, but they've got more numbers. I think they can win. Uh-oh. This is not good. They've got... You know, honestly... Oh, I would take one of these units and send them this way because this is a big concern. They're still holding here, amazingly enough. But yeah, that's what I would do. I would send one unit here, flank them around to support this because this unit is not going to... They're losing decisively. Okay, okay, he's doing it over here. He's got some spear guard coming around. The Welsh, man. They're not done yet. They're not done yet. Hell yeah, dude. Keep on the good fight. I love it. I love it. I love that no quit attitude. No matter the odds. Never surrender. Never quit. Do everything in your power to win. And look at they're causing Wessex to break over here. Oh, come on. Welsh, don't start breaking now. There's no way they're gonna they're gonna lose here, the Welsh. The general using his look at that general running in, using his ability, running out. I like that. Great job from the Welsh there. But it's not gonna be enough. Unfortunately, it's not gonna be enough. Now we got archers charging in. I guess he's trying to prevent these units from breaking. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Oh no, one of the troops are breaking here. That's too bad. That is too bad. Oh, there goes the floodgates, guys. Seeing lots of breaking here, it's lots of routing. There you have it. There you have it. One of the flanks have been destroyed. The general is even breaking. I think he's going to go for one last glorious charge. One last charge. That's awesome. Just awesome. And yeah, that's going to be it. The, the last general has fallen or he's running. And uh, because of that, the troops are going to break. And this is going to be an attacking victory. So, I think the biggest mistake from the Welsh was, uh, was them retreating to this point. If they continued to fight for the outer walls, I think they could have won. I think they could have easily have won. I think by retreating over here, it kind of made their troops sitting ducks to archer fire. And, of course, the entire city was burnt. Almost the entire city, 52% of it was burnt down, uh, which affected the melee skill. Minus 9? That's not a small amount. That's a huge amount of, um, of melee skill gone. And imagine if he had that melee skill 
while defending, because the, you defend the outer walls, they can't burn your city down. And I think that was the biggest blunder for the Welsh. Um, he should have left his troops uh, continue to fight on the outer wall. Or if you retreat, like only retreat a little bit and try to, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I get why they retreated down here because it's less to defend, but you leave your city open to be burnt down to a crisp. And because of that, uh, the Welsh really suffered. Uh, so this battle replay was actually sent in by, um, I believe, Thanatos, one of the Welsh players, or the Blood King. Um, um, I know it, it, they used Armored. Armored had the replay file, which he sent to one of the Welsh players. Uh, but really great game. Armor did great here. Holy crap. Nearly 3,000 kills in his spears. Look at this. Spears getting 208 kills. 260, 260. So lots of great kills from him. Great kills from him. Uh, so yeah, this is this has been a great battle. And it, it, I think it's a great example of like holding the walls and why it's so important. Especially, I felt the Welsh had enough troops to hold like I, I felt like it wasn't that bad if the one welsh army could send over the um the spears the spear guard over to the other side if you guys remember what i'm talking like when it happened uh i think he could have they could have held on and definitely have won that battle um or just hold on a little bit longer then retreat but it was a really great fight and i quite enjoyed it so thank you guys so much for joining me on this battle replay Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time on the battlefield.